think statistically number one obviously is, is a nice thing to be. But at the same time, we never want them to come at the expense of winning. We would rather be the winningest defense in the league as opposed to number one in whatever the category is, points against, yards. So winning for us is the ultimate priority as our, our only goal really is to win the ring. The system is very much player friendly. It's things they can understand. We don't want to get too in depth with it, but at the same time, we teach each player a core group of techniques, a core group of fundamentals, and then kind of piece those together to form an entire defense. And, and then we always tell our guys, one of the things we preach is do your job, good things will happen. Because we always feel that, hey, if we got all 11 guys doing what they're supposed to be doing, it's on us as coaches to piece those jobs together to make a functional defense. And it's been a fun year just because of how quickly the guys soaked it up and we were able to run with it. Handoff Williams waffled in the backfield by Calvin Pace, who came through and just face masked him. We're constantly preaching, you know, the team element, how things are woven together, how everybody has to depend on, on the other guy being where they're supposed to be, how I can go full speed for a tackle, we call it, you know, shoot your gun, because I know that the other guys are going to be in their correct pursuit lanes and flying in the ball. So what we're preaching this late in the year is no different from what we preached back in day one of our off-season program of how we perform our job within the system. Under pressure, Freeman throws it left. It's intercepted by Rebus. He's got it up the right sideline, cuts it back at the 50. Blockers out in front of the Bucks 40. Right sideline 30. He's down to the 20. Inside the 10. Does he stay in bounds? No. Stepped out of bounds at about the 8-yard line. I think uh, Darrell Rebus is, a, is an absolute no-brainer to be in the Pro Bowl. I view him as the best corner in the NFL, uh, maybe even the best defensive player. I mean, I think his performance this year certainly merits consideration for for defensive player of the year. Takes the snap, here comes the all-out blitz. Henny under pressure, rolling to his left. He is sacked at the 48-yard line of Miami by David Harris. Also playing tremendous for us right now is, is David Harris, uh, who's very quietly had a spectacular year for us, not just from a number standpoint. I mean, he's got a ton of tackles, he's got sacks, he's got interceptions, but from a leadership standpoint as well. I mean, he's really immersed himself in this defense, and I think Bob Sutton's done a great job with the linebackers, particularly with David, in teaching him the system. And I think he's, he's a special player and is certainly deserving of consideration for the Pro Bowl. And then Bart as well. You know, Bart's played well, but I think as a tandem, those two, I, I would challenge anybody to find you know, two inside linebackers in the league that are a better pair together. I mean, they complement each other so well. So Bart's been solid as well. Handoff, running left, Fred Taylor, buried behind the line. A loss of a couple of yards. Well, we have great depth, and I think that everybody kind of plays their own specific role. I know Sean Ellis has made some big plays and has had a solid year for us. Lost the football. It was stripped away by Sean Ellis, who knocked it out of his hands. Oh, it's, it's, it's a blast. I mean, I love coming to work. And I think that attitude, I think, permeates the staff, and I also think it's contagious with the players as well. I've had a chance to visit individually with a lot of our guys, and, and I think that's a big part of our success is the fact that they look forward to coming to work every day. And what are these crazy coaches on defense going to come up with this week for us, for the opponent? I mean, we're constantly changing things, and we call things funny names, and we have fun in the meetings. And we tell our guys that one of our rules to be on the Jets' defense is you have to have skin like an armadillo. So if guys are going to dish it out, they have to take it as well. We have a lot of fun with it. And like I said, the meetings probably aren't your conventional meetings. And I think defensively you have to kind of be that way because you're certainly dealing with a cast of unique characters.